basically I grew up as playing percussion and piano and um, that kind of informs everything I do. So a lot of the things that I'm doing now, if you kind of dissect it and take it back to the most basic elements or kind of strip back all of the, I don't know, like the gear and, and I guess like the things that are more relevant to music in the last couple of years, uh, you'll end up with just a lot of techniques and tools that are used for piano and percussion. Uh, so obviously like rhythm and texture is really important, especially coming from being a drummer. Um, and now I kind of use those tools and those ways of organizing sound to, to kind of do something a little bit different. But ultimately, I feel like I'm still playing the drum kit, but I'm just using a mixer to kind of bring things in and out. I have a piece crying that was performed. It was a piece originally written for eight vocalists, um, reading text. And the piece is mostly centered around the text, and, and the text is the like the audio of the text which was pre-recorded for this concert but ultimately it would be nice to have it performed live as well um that's kind of the sound source for all of the more like electronic and i don't know like tonal elements of the piece so i took some text that i wrote and made eight people read it differently I'm basically just asking to read it in their personal tone of voice and what they felt most comfortable reading the text as so a lot of these recordings are slower or faster than each other and the whole piece, I'm just starting each recording and letting it play all the way through, and then starting the next one while the previous recordings keep looping. So you basically get these overlapping voices to where sometimes the way that people are speaking, you hear everything in unison, and then it starts to break apart from each other. I asked them to record it as they would feel comfortable, which also includes fidelity. So a lot of the audio fidelity in the piece is pretty low, like iPhone recordings, or... So I think somebody recorded it on a cassette tape player, so you hear a lot of like background sound and like environmental noises and things like that. So when you're splitting it between all the speakers, it's kind of interesting. You'll hear like a very dry recording of somebody who recorded it themselves in the studio and then somebody else who's like walking down the street and it's extremely loud, which I think is kind of important to say because when you hear it being performed that way and you hear so much sound coming from one place and not very much from the other as it's split between the speakers, it's very intentional. Uh, but the piece, I don't know, emotionally or conceptually is kind of just about crying and um, trying to find like a shared human emotion and get multiple people's perspectives on it. So it's kind of like taking the text and having multiple people read it, but it's still the same text. Um, kind of like how there's a lot of shared feelings in the world, but everybody experiences things differently. Which is the emotion in the music is more important than a lot of the other elements for me. In the last couple of years, built a little routine of how I make work, and a lot of it is influenced by the world and society and, and human interaction, more or less. So, kind of taking experiences that I have out in the world and then bringing them back to a studio or back to like a composition setting or a live performance setting. It's almost like I'm trying to blend the two worlds almost. And a lot of my work involves field recording and um, like sampling things from my everyday life. So kind of bringing in like the mundane from the outside world into the performance space. Almost, for me at least, kind of blends the two to where you don't really know what's the performance and what's real life and especially things that are involving human voices and like human experiences and trying to express emotion through the work. Uh, I'm not actually trying to say anything with the work, I don't think. I think I'm trying to more open up the door to feeling things or like communicating with other people. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not